good morning welcome to my e learning contents on that subjects today we need to be discuss about uh, unit number 4 of managing ethical dilemma under the concept where we discuss about ethical dilemma in business in the today's videos this concept it is uh, related to the subject uh, business ethics and corporate governance for the rani chennai university mango so where we discuss about today has to go for unit number 4 managing ethical dilemma and under that basically the one components we discuss about today that is ethical dilemma in business as a introduction parts okay let's start to the today's class we'll moving for that so where we has to discuss about that before i want to start this videos we want to know that which are the content we can learn in that unit number 4 okay so as a content point of view as per the syllabus of rani chennai universities these are the contents where this contents includes the basic part related to meaning what is the meaning of dilemma then ethical dilemma is there their natures how it is ethical dilemma it is there their significance of ethical dilemmas apart from that ethical dilemma versus ethical issues how dilemmas and issues will be there arises and dilemma situation will be arising basically in your business organizations that is related to our functional department that is specifically ethics in marketing finance and accounting practices hrm practices that is human resource management practices and ethical implications apart from that the ethical issues related to it field that is information technology and last uh, content they are added in that ethics in the global issues so has to be these are the contents in that uh, as per your ani chennai university subject business ethics and corporate governance so these all contents you can discuss in this units but today's videos i want to go for this first content and second content only and to be go for in depth of what are the introduction of or what exactly the dilemma is there and what ethical dilemma talks about and how the ethical dilemma with related to the situations in the personal perspectives and professional perspectives so let's move to the today's class we'll begin with that uh the situation of that is introduction of ethical dilemma so let's start with that the concepts related to discuss about what exactly dilemma before moving to the ethical dilemmas when we want to understand the concepts what exactly ethical dilemma talks about so okay so when the questions come dilemma no when you are just pronouncing the word dilemma means the uh, in our mind only the questions arise this what questions arise this something it is we are there in getting confusion so that will be the question arises see the question will be arises dilemma dilemma means there is a situations okay so as we has to go for as a dilemma is nothing but it is a choice between two options that is what two option it is right versus right so remember very important things when there is a dilemma arises there is a choice between right versus right or it is a situation that requires a choice between option that are that are or seem equally unfavorable or mutually inexclusive this is very much important equally unfavorable there is options or equally that is mutually exclusive another meaning it is more than two possibility which is practically not acceptable means somewhere in a situations you are there and there you have only two possibilities but that which is practically not acceptable completely both the situation also not acceptable so that situations we can call it as a dilemma now you are knowing about that what exactly dilemma sir we are talking about that in a ethical dilemma is nothing but a dilemma it is choice between two option that is right versus your right we can take a example how to understand that uh, your dilemma situation will be there let's find out the situation we will take the example suppose Uh, as a individuals if you are going as a individuals uh, for a interview your interview is their final interview today and to uh, with going their final interview in between in the road the accident taken place and that accident taken place your interview is finals and the, the person accident taken place no one is there on the roads and you have that situations now to be go for final interview to get the jobs government jobs today only at that particular times but simultaneously another situation arises that is the person has had in the accidents now as a individuals which situation you are going to select 
either you have to go for going job interview and you are uh, getting the careers to be set or to forget about that careers and you are going to be help as a humanity as a personal as a humanity as a professional or as a moral principle you are going to be help to that accidental persons so this is what the situations it is a choice between two options right versus right both the options are right okay so how you are going to select that situations or how the questions will be arises okay so that is nothing but the dilemma situation that is it is a choice between two option right versus right or it is a situation that requires the choice between the option that are or seem equally unfavorable or mutually exclusive or the two possibility which is completely practically not acceptable so that is will be possible so this will be considered as a dilemma point of view what exactly dilemma is nothing but the choice between two option where the both the options are right so it is nothing but right versus right so that we has to move for that is a uh, dilemma questions let's move to the concept regarding what is ethical dilemma here yes. okay basically uh, dilemma talks about more than two possibility which is practically not acceptable so we can take an example that is personal and your public point of view personal interest and public interest so when we has to be consider both the point of view both the things are correct but has to be take the personal interest we are going to be forget about our professional or uh, your public and has to go for that your uh, the right versus rights now let's uh, discuss about the concept what exactly ethical dilemma talks about now what exactly ethical dilemma is nothing but set of choice between competing set of principles of honesty versus respect okay now uh, i'm using the word honesty versus respect okay as you were your uh the syllabus we can go for ethical dilemma is moral situation in which the choice has to be made between two equally undesirable alternatives so you have the situations where the options are two equally undesirable alternatives and how you are going to be select that is also important or it is a set of choice between competing that is honesty versus respect okay so if you are as a working as a honesty in a particular situation you are as a honest but simultaneously should give the respect to the particular activities suppose we can take that example that is where you are working in a one organizations and in that organization you are as a honest employee but your uh, managers or subordinates are not doing the proper works his do his assign he is doing that uh, unfair activities but ultimately he is your boss so here what we has to select you are as a you has to work as a honest or you should give the respect to that your boss so that will be the dilemma will be arise so that is is nothing but ethical dilemma so here is what ethical dilemma is talks about set of choice between competing the principle of honesty versus respect or is a moral situations where the situation has to made between two equally undesirable alternatives so that we taken about the example where when the person is going on the interviews final interview of the things if you take the final interview of uh, ips or ias and suddenly in between that is your uh, the another person accident will be taken place where the no, no one is there in that accident person and that situations you are going to be uh, go for as a personal point of view to select interview has to go for that is you are go for interviews and you are forget about the situation of accident but again there is a situation always so you you has to be deal with that your personal interest involve on that and how the moral situ morally how we are going to be handle that situations so that is nothing but your uh, dilemma dilemma may arises out of various source okay so that situation will be arise various source of behavior or attitudes for instance it may arises out of failure of personal characters of source so dilemma may arises due to the failure of personal characters conflict of personal values organization goals organization goal versus social values no this is very much important organization goal versus social values so organization goal is always you know about that we want profit and all things but social value talks about that we should do that business as a uh, so as a societal point of view or the benefit of the uh, employ benefit of the societal people or the benefit of the stakeholders point of view so when there these issues will be arise when organization think about to reach organization goals and as a societies they wanted always as uh, a benefit of the organization that has to provide the good quality goods at 
at a reasonable rates but organization wanted the more profits so there there is a choice between how you are going to work as a morally so that is nothing but ethical dilemma and ethical dilemma may depend on the three basic condition what are three basic condition that is agent must be taken decision among the course of action only means where the person who are involved in that situations that agent he will take a decision always among the course of action only and that course of action it depend upon the alternatives different course of action is available and that course of action lead to some ethical principle in actions so when we has to be arise in that some kind of situation so that ethical principle be arises so these are the basic conditions where a ethical dilemma specifically deal with that agent to take a decisions with related to different actions and ultimately with ethical principle only then let's move to the business that is dilemma's point of view a business dilemma basically for organizations okay exist when organizational decision maker face a choice between two or more option that will have various impact of organization profitability competitiveness and its stakeholders no this is for organization point of view when organization will face some kind of situation where they has to be select okay as one as a organization profitability competitiveness or as a stakeholders so this is what related to your the situation where the dilemma will work or the dilemma may face the situation as organization decisions if organization wanted more profit they want to be lose to the social responsibilities or if organization want to give the limited uh, remuneration to the employee again they has to forget about that as your stakeholder requirement then this is what situation will be arises and in situation of this kind one must act out of prudence to take better decision as we can see many of these ethical choice involve conflicts and that's why if dilemma if you want to be not solved properly this will be leads to the conflict and conflict leads to the problem of the organizations to solve this kind of ethical dilemma we should has to be focus upon the concept ethical reasoning that is the to choice right things how to choice right things in the ethical dilemma that concept we can call as a ethical reasoning and that can be ethical reasoning as we depend upon moral principle guidelines only okay so that is where we has to go for business ethical dilemma then as historically how this concepts ethical dilemma will be existed so we'll go for prime facy principle as a historically w d ross as a moral philosopher of 20th century he traces moral dilemma due to conflict of certain prime facy principles in the 20th century w d ross has been as a moral a moral philosopher he traces first and the moral dilemma due to conflicts of prime facy principle so he work out in the principle of prime facy principle what is the meaning of that on first view what is that prime facy principle talks about point to the moral presumptions that is the way we must act in a situation in normal situations means what w d ross talks about that if there is a conflict arises if there is a dilemma arises where we has to be consider the right versus right so we may we the way we must to act in a situation that is normal so how we handle the normal situation presumption basis so what presumption mean talks about something is taken to be true unless proven otherwise and this is very much important presumption is means something is taken to be true unless proven otherwise we'll take example everyone is treated to be innocent before a court of law unless proven guilty this is very much important in the normal situation no where we has to think about that uh, if everyone is are innocent but when the court of in the case of court of law if it is failed or it is uh, we have the getting that result or maybe that you know, other elements the remedies comes to the pictures or maybe getting the proven as a guilty so before we are taking as a innocent only but if the court has to be taken about such kind of actions if we need the theft or other activities or the crime or other things it is proved as a guilty only so that is we will take about that something is taken to be true unless proven otherwise and prime facy principle what are the prime facy principle are the principle of honesty so we are talking about you no know, honesty then promise keeping not harming other benevolence autonomy and equality also so this is what related to uh, the things of 
wd ross talks about that to be handle ethical dilemma we should work about the prime phase principles means we can presume that situations at the activities and some of the principles should work that is honesty promise keeping not harming others benevolence autonomy and equality if you work on that situation the principles of moral principle if you work as we can include about prime phase principle of wd ross then we can easily handle the ethical dilemmas where the situation arises right versus right so you think about as a honest you can select promise keeping not harming to the others benevolence and autonomy and equalities then comes to the pictures where we discuss about further what exactly ethical dilemma basically or the situation wise where we has to discuss about what exactly they we are talking about ethical dilemma it is a conflict between okay always dilemma it is a conflict between because if there is a situations where we talking about one's personal and professional values now this is very much important point where ethical dilemma will be work out it is a conflict between one's personal values and <coughs> professional values so what uh, personal values talks about and professional values talks about so that uh, there is a thing so we will take examples how the uh, ethical dilemma will be there in one's personal values and professional values as a we take a example as a professor always the professor has a duty okay the professor has a duty to maintain as a class as a uh, disciplined but few of the students are not maintain the disciplines so where where they can handle that situations as a professional or as a personal to be maintain in the class so this is again the challenge as a basic normal situation as a ethical dilemmas or you can take another example where the uh, mr x is a very uh, honest person he is not he has done with the good things he will always work on the moral principles but in a certain situation in the in job field uh, as a professional has to be work on that situations he has to work as a professional but his boss is not working as a honest one but the, there is a to be talking about professionals we should maintain as a as to follow the boss so there is a problems where we has to be deal with the ethical dilemma we can take another examples where we can take the one personal values versus professional values or the things will be work out that is suppose uh, mr x has been went to the interview he went to the interviews uh, to the company you can take about that x y z company is there he went to the interview and mr x where there he went to the uh, interview for xyz company and the, in the xyz company the uh, interview head it is your it is your relative only okay so the the head is relative only now that relative head has getting the uh, it is there in a ethical dilemma if he on to be select mr x on what basis he on going to be selects as a professional as a personal if he selected as a uh, as a mr x as a relatives on that so he will be uh, dealing with that right was a right now how he will keep with the one personal view values and professional values because if he not selecting that mr x he will face the personal values and if he selected as a profession professional values on the he can work as a professional values then he will be keep aside his personal views and to be work out if he select as a personal personal point of views because he is a relative of the things then it is very difficult as to be uh, that uh, head of that managers to will not follow the morality or the rules and regulations of the companies as per that they are not taken the interviews that is what one's personal versus and professional values or two values or two ethical principles both are right versus right only or two possible action each with reason strong st reason strongly favorable and unfavorable situation two unsatisfactory alternatives are there so there is a unsatisfactory uh, alternatives also there once values principles or one pursued role then need to be act need to be reflects means there is a situation arise how to act and how to reflect how to follow the once values and principle to the one pursued role means what we has to be follow and what we has to be get from that or there is a situation where there is unsatisfactory alternatives are there but either we has to go for selecting that activities or Uh, take example where we can consider that uh, as a you are working as a public administrators okay if you are working as a public administrators at the point of national security you should maintain that some information for a secrecy basis 
but if you are maintain the secrecy basis you are as a rules talks about that the comp uh, that public administration should be transparent so the transparency you are not going to be followed this is what we into the another examples or we can take that another examples where we can uh, taking about that as a doctors if uh, mr x is a doctor and mr x is a doctors will be there he will the, his duty is to be served to the community as a uh, doctors but simultaneously in the doctors the criminal patient come to in the clinic so how he has to be treat to that uh, the criminal patients on that situation is it he has to think about as a his a professional or is it we think about the personal views or is it he think about to be work as a moralities so how he will be deal with it is it he has to be treat as a uh, personal issues point of views that is to be take his point of views but professional also come to the witches or at, as a legally it is again there is a questions legally we cannot the doctor cannot handle that criminal patients but as a the professional he can to uh, handle that uh, your patient so that will be the situations will be consider in the ethical dilemma or let's take another example where we uh, where we people are talking about that knowing about uh, uidi website that is uidi website related to aadhar cards okay now this aadhar card has been done uh, with a number of people where they are already enrolled and they are using about that as a aadhar to be uh, getting that any kind of benefit from that now here that uidi websites or uidi authority will be have that del dilemma that we are talking about that uh, aadhar will be the secret has been have the personal information will be maintained by the uidi in the point of view to be get benefit but government wanted that information to to trace that uh, people in our countries or they require the information now there is a questions here to the uidi and versus government government wanted that information but uidi has said, said about that we want that secret information we cannot disclose secret information it will be get leak so this there is a dilemma of uidi and government how that other information can be disclosed or we can not be disclosed to the one particular persons so that is related to ethical dilemma and then uh, to uh, has to go for ethical dilemma to solve that ethical dilemma issues or how we are going to be act in the particular situations or what what uh, things we should be remove or resolve that things so that purpose the next concept it is approach is of resolving ethical dilemma means as a person as a doctor or that criminal patient and his professional values or as a you are going as a job interview and suddenly accident taken place or as a public administrative uh maintaining that information secrecy or maybe providing for transparencies or conflict of interest between personal and public so what on what basis you are going to be resolve the dilemmas so there are some of the approaches are available so there are four approaches are available to resolve this ethical dilemma first one you can go for utilitarian okay already we discuss about this utilitarian concepts under the ethical theories here we solve the ethical dilemmas on the basis of what we has to do greatest benefit for largest number of people means we to if you have the situation of dilemma and where and to be solve this so we can have the two option right versus right so we will be analyze that which right is getting large benefit so that we are going to select and we can resolve the problem that we talk about utilitarian principles next number second universalism principles now what universalism principle talks about that is it is rule based a good intention always result in a good outcomes ultimately so this will be talks about that is as a constitution point of view that what our constitution talks about the what rules talks about according to the rules we should be select right versus right only number third care based approach in this situation with those who are in a official relationships basically as a professional field basically as a point of view we can keep aside our personal values and as a professionals we should work always as a professional i will not think about to personal point of view so that has to be think about in the you know uh, that is the uh, you need third con content of approach resolving ethical dilemma number four virtue ethics virtue ethics also we discuss in that your unit number second that is your ethical theories where virtue ethics talks about what virtue ethics talks about while performing any action he or she develop the virtue means 
to solve right versus right to solve right versus right situations the agent or that person should and must has having the virtue qualities or virtue principles means he should be honest he should be respectful he should be kindness he should be benevolence he should be integrated so the person is having that qualities the qualities of principle or moral principle then only he will to resolve easily that ethical dilemma so these are the four approaches are available as when we has to be discuss about that is to resolve means to solve the ethical dilemma utilitarian talks about as a greatest benefit point of view means we can solve this ethical dilemma on the point of view which right or say right which right is getting large benefit we can select that things universalism talks about that as per the right versus right it is if it is based upon rule based and good intention always result in the good outcome only so rule based we can accept universally we can accept it number third as a professional who will be then official really care based we should take care of that uh, care, care care based that is professional we can work out not to work about personal point of view and virtue instead of talking about this all benefit the person is important so that we'll talk about our virtue ethics so this is related to uh, the concept of approaches of resolving ethical dilemma then the things it is very much important that how we are going to be resolved now we know about the various approaches are available now how we has to begin with that what should we do to be start to be solve that your ethical dilemma situation see that methods to resolve ethical dilemma now how we are going to be resolve this ethical dilemma there are methods there are steps you can follow so we'll go for first way uh, how the methods will be which way what things we can do or is it will be the right or right or wrong will be there we'll go for that the first step we should follow to resolve ethical dilemma it is define the problem and recognize the moral issues so when there is a situation ethical dilemma arises that times first priority is there what is our main problems why the situation is arises right versus right why it is arises if what is the main exact problem it is arises that we need to define and what is the moral issue is there so that we are going to be check about that in the first steps once we analyze the moral issues second step we can go for determine who will be affected by the decisions and the role once we decide to the problems we should take the decisions of who will be affected person and what is his role played by this taking the decision of right versus right next collect information on how the problem will be occurs this is very much important only determining the problems and affected person is not important we should be collect information on what point of view this problem will be arises and number 4 isolated illegal issues and separate right versus wrongs so once we collected the information we can separate it illegal issues on that point of view and your right versus wrong situations uh, once we solve uh, solve uh, your isolated illegal issues and right versus wrong then we has to make the tough choice what the tough choice we has to do has to take the decisions okay that is truth versus loyalty individual versus community short term versus long term justice versus moral now this is also again we include about that is as a point of view right versus right now see truth versus loyalty this is very much important this when we has to speak truth and should be as a loyal so there is again difficult to be reach again individual versus community where there is a various situations you taken the decisions it is benefit for individuals but it is affected to the communities or short term versus long terms you have taken decision for long term but it is presently it is not working then justice versus morals so justice if you are doing giving so what is morally it is correct or not so we has to be analyze so this is a number 5 stage situation that is very top choice and number 6 approaches to resolve ethical dilemma see what are the approaches are we discuss now these all approaches will be available it is fourth approaches are available so any one of the approach we can take or you can follow that uh, any two or maybe any all depend upon the problem arises you can select the things after finding about top choice of truth versus loyal individual versus community short term and long term justice versus moral we can approach we can take any one of the approach or maybe all and find out if there is any other ways of option is available means apart from that we is it there is another options any if there if there are any other ways of out and lastly you should decide and act 
which right is correct when it is face the right versus right and ultimately we can review the decisions from problem to approaches approaches to top decisions and once we going for that we should be resolve your uh, problems of ethical dilemma and that can be done based upon your right versus right but there you should take the important things that whenever we will be face the situation of ethical dilemma we should be analyze that what is our main problems arises who will be affected and before for that purpose we should collect n number of informations once we collect the information of problem arises basis we should be separate at your illegal issues and right versus wrong situations after that the make decisions of regarding is it we are going to select truth or loyal individual or community short term and long term justice or moral and ultimately we can take the help of approaches and once we get the things find out is there any other ways to resolve this ethical dilemmas if it is not there then within that any uh, any approaches we can select and has to be decide and act as per that right versus right situation and ultimately review the decision that is the important things in the resolving your ethical dilemma we'll take example how this ethical dilemma will be arises in a situation present situation c presently we are facing the covid 19 okay covid 19 situation will be arises due to that in a whole world it is there in a lockdown situation it is there in a home only but what this is a problems will be there covid 19s where we are so this is our problem arises so situation where we think about that covid 19s uh, as in india specifically we are working about that is the student communities point of view how to deliver the classes and all things and that purpose most of the colleges and most of the students uh, most of the faculties has started the online classes online activities but there is a problem in that uh, situation in the student point of view that professor started the online classes with various options and now the situation arises with the students okay the students are has facing the situation that which app they are going to be select to be go for online activities if they go for uh, zoom app if they go for webex meetings if they go for youtube if they go for uh, discord if they go for google meet or if they go for namaste app so many apps are available but the thing it is is it this app that your professor using but is it that apps as a personal is it safe or not as a professional if you go for faculty or not so how we are going to resolve this ethical dilemma so what kind of things we should be resolved if you not follow the professor then professor will take actions for us so again we are fear about that the situation about internal mass and other issues point of view but if you are taking this to follow professional as to go for faculties again there is a questions to that there is a privacy of our uh, privacy of our cell phone what information is available it is going to be uh, circulated so that's that the dilemma will be arises so how you are going to resolve this problems you need to identify this problems first you are going to de define the problems what is the main problem is there to go for this that is we are going online classes activities so that purpose and it is what moral it is that morally we has to be handle the situations to go uh, academic activities and determine who will be affected so when we has to be going online you should think about that how many people are going to be affected these decisions and your role you are selecting any kind of app and collect information related to zoom app or maybe google meet or maybe youtube and other things and collect the information how the problem will be occurs and isolate the illegal issues and separate that's why we separated zoom app and other things where it is illegals and the right versus right wrong issues and now we taking the decision to make the top choice that is to be go online classes we want to be select either any one of the app where as to follow about that is your truth versus loyalty individual and communities short term long term justice and moral and ultimately approaches when is to go for solving this approaches what approaches you should follow when you selecting any kind of app uh, that approaches will be see the approaches will be utilitarian is there universalism is there care based virtue here we can go for utilitarian approach because greatest benefit for largest number of people we has to be work so we can apply utilitarian principle and we can select uh, which app is good for all community and on the basis of that we can select and where we can think about to be as a uh, find out there is no other ways to be go and we has to selecting now we should go for one app 
this will be the largest benefit to all comfortable to be all so we will decide and we act on that and ultimately we review that the whatever decisions we taken that is good for that where the problem is solved and the dilemma will be uh, resolved as per the situation of your ethical dilemma situation so dilemma is nothing but right versus wrong right so where equal opportunities equal choices are there or two unsatisfactory choices are there or two unpractical situations will be there we can accept at any point of view where there is a situation or or we will be getting the confusion point of view which one has to select if you select first one you can forget about second thing personal versus professional or uh, we can comes to relatives versus our professionals or we has to go for public administrative versus transparency or we can go for as a uh, justification for justif justify justification for institutions also so when you has to work in a personal and professional so that is related to the methods of methods to resolve ethical dilemmas and then comes to the next important point that is that is ethical dilemma versus ethical issues and this is very much important dilemma is a problem ethical issue also problem dilemma and ethical issues also situations and dilemma and ethical issue also opportunity but here dilemma is a problem situation and opportunity that require an individual group or as a organization to choose among several wrong and unethical actions that have no right or ethical choices this is very much important as a dilemma because when to be resolve that so that resolving purpose that may be the choosing will be either wrong either unethical actions no right or no ethical issues also but ethical issue talks about it requires a choice among several actions that must be evaluated as a right versus wrong or ethical versus unethical means good versus bad also so dilemma where we think about not right versus right but here right versus wrong ethical versus unethical so here no rights or no ethical choices so ethical dilemma is a situation where the right versus rights either that options are both the equals both the options are both the wrong the options are not not right also and not ethically acceptable also but we has to be select in the ethical dilemma but ethical issue talks about you should be take ethical to solve ethical choice among several action it should and must either right versus wrong ethical versus unethical or moral versus unmoral also so this is what ethical dilemma versus ethical issues talks about ultimately ethical dilemma is a problem situation or opportunity is where we have to select any kind of action or decision either be be uh, right versus right no right also ethical no ethical activities or maybe unfavorable or maybe unsatisfactory options but in the case of ethical issues we want to be work at any cost on the basis of ethical principle right or wrong ethical or unethical or good or bad only so this is related to the introduction parts of your ethical dilemma in a business basically uh, the things we discuss about today's class that is today's videos uh, in that ethical dilemma in managing your ethical dilemma the concepts of dilemma ethical dilemma concepts ethical di dilemma concept related to the historically ethical dilemma exactly what the conflict of that personal professional and other activities and some of the approaches are available to resolve this problems and which method or steps you can follow to resolve this ethical dilemma arises so that we are going to be discuss in the today's videos next videos we want to be discuss about some major part related to the how ethical issues will be arise in the functional department so that will be continue in the next videos then uh, like subscribe this channel for upcoming videos thank you